What's going on guys? This is the Samsung Gear Fit 2. Samsung first came out with a fitness wearable back in 2014 with the original Gear Fit. Since then, there has been an abundance of different fitness devices to choose from. With companies like Jawbone and Fitbit, this has become a very competitive market. So this time around, Samsung brings back a very similar design from 2014, but with some new enhancements and paired with the growing Tizen OS to complement their new phones. Unlike the original Gear Fit, you can pair this year's model with any Android phone by downloading the Gear Manager and S Health apps from the Google Play Store. Sorry iPhone, the Gear Fit 2 has no love for you guys. The Gear Fit 2 is sporting a slick, low profile design with a nice and bright 1.5 inch curved Super AMOLED screen that seems to wrap around my wrist perfectly. The bands are also interchangeable, helping you to find that right style for you. The two hardware buttons on the right are simple enough to understand. The bottom one opens the app menu, while the top one takes you back a step. Most of the interaction is done by swiping the screen, since this is a Tizen device. The software is quick and smooth, and I haven't experienced any stuttering yet. Built into the fitness band is a dual-core 1GHz processor with 4 gigs of onboard memory. It is worth mentioning that the Gear Fit 2 is also IP68 water and dust certified, just like the Galaxy lineup this year, which seems like a no-brainer, considering this thing will be around a lot of sweat. Fitness tracking is really in-depth with the Fit 2, as it should be. It keeps track of your steps, floors climbed, calories burned, as well as the speed, distance, and duration of popular cardio exercises, as well as sport tracking ranging from cycling, hiking, all the way to crunches, with 14 sports in total. The Fit 2 manages to do this all while automatically measuring your heart rate, then supplying you with a detailed activity summary at the end of the day or a very short summary depending on the kind of day you've had. Samsung has made it easy to keep track of your caffeine and water intake for the day as well. This has helped me to stay hydrated better by being aware of the amount of water I drink a day, but it's also shown me that I am way too caffeinated. One of the coolest features that took me by surprise once I started to use it is the built-in GPS. You can leave your phone at home while you go for a run or a bike ride, and the Fit 2 will map out your route for you right there on your wrist. This pairs really well with the ability to store up to 500 songs directly onto your Fit 2 as well. So when you're headed out, just strap this thing onto your wrist and pair up some Bluetooth headphones, and then you're ready to go. Notifications work about as expected from a fitness wearable. Just swipe to the left and you'll have access to your incoming texts, emails, and Google updates. You can respond to these with short pre-made responses or choose to open it up on your phone. If you have a long text or a long email, you'll only be shown a portion of it though. The 200 milliamp battery has lasted me two full active days and three very inactive days. All in all, this is my favorite fitness band that I have ever owned, and it's something that I could see myself continuing to use going forward. Let me know if this is something you could see yourself using in the comments below. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, which has been shown to help raise your fitness level. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll just help you see more content as soon as it's released. Well, that does it, so I will see you guys in the next one.